Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas. Today's episode's my favorite finds for 2022. Now I do a lot of board testing throughout the year, and I also test a lot of surf products and other unique products that I think need to be on every surfer's radar, even your Christmas wish list. Now I had two board favorites for the whole year. I had the Bobby Quad and the Duke Ipa Dark Twin. Now this is the Dark Horse, and what separates the Dark Horse and the Dark Twin is the fin setup. So the Dark Horse is a quad, this will be reviewed in 2023, and the Dark Twin is that twin plus trailer, twin fin, or you can even run it as a thruster. Guys, this is gonna be fun. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Now, before I dive into the products, guys, I wanna remind you, we don't charge for reviews, whether it's boards or product testing. The companies send in the product, we test it thoroughly, we tell them we're gonna be critical, and hope to introduce it to our community. With product like this, the company send it in hoping that it's a favorite find of mine. Other products, Aaron and I stumble across and we actually pay for it, use it on a day-to-day -day basis, and we're like, man, we can't live without it, we gotta tell our community. So I just wanna remind you, we don't charge for our favorite finds. The first place I wanna start is the Free Waters Cloud9 Slide. Now, they first came to me in the camouflage color. And I thought, man, this thing's kind of thick. And I was like, man, it's really got a lot of cushion. Probably not super pleasing to my eye. I am a huge sandal guy. Now I did have a car accident when I was younger and it kind of messed up my back pretty bad. So I'm hypercritical on sandals and shoes. If I wear a sandal too long throughout the day, my back starts to hurt or if I have shoes for too long and I wear them a bunch, they break down and my back starts to hurt. So I just wanna give you guys a grid for what I'm about to say about the Cloud9 slides. When I first put them on, I couldn't believe how much cushion they have, how it's rebounding and how comfortable they are. Now my son saw them and he's the same foot size as me and he put them on and he couldn't believe how comfortable they were. We play a lot of golf together and as soon as we get done golfing, we can't wait to get into our slides. Now, I mentioned that it's not super sexy for me, the shoe. I would rather wear sandals when I look at what my foot's inside of. However, most slides don't have the support and they don't have the comfort long-term. My wife saw these, she wore mine around the house and she's like, I can't believe how comfortable these are. So I ordered her a pair. If you're looking for a new slide, if you're a sandal guy, look, I wear mine down to the beach every day. I've been wearing these for three to four months now and I never wanna take them off. These gotta be on your Christmas wish list, or at least on your radar, you gotta try these things. Now the next product came all the way from France by Wetty Wetsuits. This is their booty. And when I pulled it out of the package, I was like, this is more like a booty sock. So the bottom is super smooth, the whole Boot, you can see it's pretty flexible. This is five millimeter, they make it in three millimeter. This is the Pro Series boot. And when I talk about it feeling more like a sock, they told me you gotta wax the bottom of the boot for the first session. Once you wax it, now it can stick to the board. And this boot actually caught me by surprise. If I wear a booty here in Southern California, cause it's optional, I usually wear a three millimeter and they usually let water in. And when the water comes in, my foot kind of moves around. If you buy them too big, you can trip over them. This five millimeter, when it's really cold, didn't let any water in, and I could actually feel the board. So on the front foot, I can move it around a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like surfing barefoot. And on the back foot, I can actually feel the arch and the kick in my traction pad. Now, if you follow the show, you know I'm not much of a guy that's stoked on wearing boots. However, if you're a booty guy, I think you'll really like these Wetty suits. They ship worldwide. I put the link below. You guys gotta check these out. Now the next product is by Avbody. Now this is called the Surf Impact Hat. And it's really a helmet. They reached out to me and said, hey, we wanna send you this product. It was designed for surfers. It started in Indo, and it's really about water sports. It's waterproof, it has a waterproof lining, waterproof pads inside, and even a great clip underneath your chin. So 
when you're underwater surfing, if you fall in this turbulence, you're not gonna lose your hat. Now, I've been wearing it to ride my bike. It's probably not ideal because it's more of that lightweight to medium impact. So special for surfing and where I think I'd wear it most is going to Waco. In the summertime, it's super hot. I always wanna protect my head from sunburn and that kind of stuff or even hitting the bottom of the pool or my board hitting me. I think I'd also use it in a place like Costa Rica or Puerto Rico. If you're the type of surfer that wants to protect yourself, check out the Surf Impact app. Now the next product's by Rip Curl. This is the E-Bomb three millimeter split toe booty. What I like about this boot is it's super flexible. The sole is very thin. There's not a lot of that texture or traction on the bottom. The whole point of these is to have feel. And that's one of the things that's super important about booties because one of the things I don't like about them is that once your foot's on the board, you can't move them. These I could move a little bit, but probably not as versatile on the board for feel as the Weddies. Now, I'm a size 10 in shoe and I bought both boots in size nine. For me, with the rip curl, they let some water in. And once the water gets in, my feet have a little bit more room to move inside. Now, if I had bought a 10 in the boots and water gets inside, that's when I start tripping over the front booty when I go to stand up or my foot's moving around inside a lot and the booty's stuck to the board, but inside my foot's moving around. So I'm not a huge fan of booties. But what makes this pair unique is how thin the sole is and how much um, feel they offer. Now, the reason I'm doing two booties, here in the States, if you're going to order booties, these are going to be easier to get a hold of. I feel like these Weddy boots are unique by design. If I had to choose between the two, because you guys are going to ask me that, which one would I prefer? I prefer the Weddies, but both boots are epic. Now the next product is my signature Pivot Twins Plus Stabilizer. And I'm a huge fan of this fin category. Born and raised on thrusters, I like the pivot, I like the drive and everything you get from basically three fins. What you're gonna get from a Twin Plus trailer in general is it's typically larger side fins compared to a thruster side fin. So in smaller waves, we gotta work for our own speed and we put the board on rail and we push a larger side fin is going to give you more drive. Now the stabilizer stabilizes the board and gives you something to pivot off of. What I like about this typical twin plus trailer setup, depending on how deep the stabilizer goes into the water will determine how easy it is to slide the tail and keep the board fun and playful in smaller waves. What makes them unique compared to other pivot twins is that it's got a wider base for more drive. It's got a little bit more fin area for more hold, both front side and back side, but it's still pretty upright, so it's gonna pivot and get you into the lip quick. Now, some of you guys have been asking, can you run them purely as a twin fin without the stabilizer? Absolutely, yes you can, but it depends on the twin fin board model. Now, fin size, and do we make them for FCS2 boxes? We make them in two tab, they don't click in, you screw them in, and I've been testing them a bunch. And what I really like, if I'm comparing it size-wise, they're bigger than the MRs and similar size, different template compared to the Power Twins. On the future side, it's gonna be bigger than the T1 and somewhere near the ENs. I find that they have more hold both front side and back side and you guys gotta start playing in Twin Plus trailer setups. Now the next product's by Active Wrap, and these guys are doing it great. I found them this year shortly after I went through a full hip replacement surgery. They're actually making hot and cold packs specific to the injured area. And for me, being injured in the hip, it was hard at times to keep the ice right where I wanted it. Now their cold pack stays cold for like an hour. And what I like is they sent me an adjustable brace just for the hip. Now with it being specific to the body part that you're injured, I wish I had found these guys a long time ago. I've had full ACL surgery on both knees from playing soccer, and then I had a car accident where I injured my back, which I mentioned, and they make a back brace. So it's really about wherever you're injured, if you're icing on the regular, or even if you're doing heat, 
What I love about the same pack that you put in the freezer, let's say you're gonna stretch, you can put it in the microwave, heat it up, and then you can start to get that those muscles to loosen up before you go into stretches. These guys are doing it right, you gotta check it out. Now the next product is by Rip Curl. This is the Anti-Series Soft Tech Fleece Jacket. And the Anti-Series really about wind protection and water resistant. It's relatively soft on the outside. And I like to wear a jacket down over my wetsuit when I go surfing. And when it's cold in the morning, that wind resistance is really helping. And I usually ride back on my e-bike when I'm wet. So when we leave, if it's 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning and the offshores are blowing, it's getting a little bit warmer outside, but now my wetsuit's wet. And I've been wearing this and it's super durable. I like that it's a softer tack or construction outside. It's kind of got that four way stretch. And then inside it's lined with a warm fleece material. And what kind of separates this jacket from uh, a favorite find that I had from Excel is it's softer to touch. I'd say it's more comfortable and I find myself wearing it outside of just taking it surfing every day, this jacket should be on your radar. Now the next product is by Weddy Wetsuits out of France. This is a 4.3 steamer they're calling the Warrior. I wore this all last winter. Water temps dropped to 56, low 39, air temp outside. I remember wearing this suit with no hood and no boots and being plenty warm. So I like it, it's flexible, it's comfortable. Some of my favorite things is that it has no smoothie on the front or the back. Usually when it's that cold, I have to wear a wetsuit that has that smoothie to protect me from wind shear from heavy offshores. I never got cold in the suit. It was watertight all winter. I'm on season two and I've been wearing it a bunch and it's still watertight. Some of the biggest complaints from our community is that suits start to leak water in the first season or they only last one season. These guys are making a great suit. The other thing I like about this particular suit is the way you actually get in. So with it being a chest zip, it's great. I would say the entrance here is generous and the rubber here is very flexible so it's easy to get in and out of. These guys are doing legit wetsuits I think it should be on your radar. You guys will be stoked. Season two, still watertight. Now the last product is by Rip Curl. This is the Surf Series Locker 45 liter bag. I've always got a lot of gear, boots, gloves, wet wetsuits. What I love about it is when I'm done surfing, I can step inside the bag, take my suit off. It keeps it free, my suit free of sand. It holds the water inside pack all my stuff, it's easy to get where I wanna go. Now, we also like to take it to the beach. It seems to be insulated, so pack a lunch, throw some drinks in there, and it keeps the drinks cold for a longer period of time. My wife tries to steal it, take it to Costco. Just the bag's good size, it's legit. You guys will be stoked, check out this Surf Series bag. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode on my favorite finds for 2022. All the links are below. Put this stuff on your Christmas wish list, copy, paste, send it to your loved ones. Special shout out thanks to all the companies throughout the year sending in all these great products for us to review. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode, and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.